All right. Let's talk about some game sense chat. The elephant in the room of how to get good at this game, game sense. So what exactly is game sense? What makes good game sense and how can you build it? Well, game sense is just understanding what's kind of like the decision you can put yourself or decision to yeah. A decision to put you in advantage in the round, basically. And how is it built? It's built by playing the game a lot. I know a lot of you guys don't want to hear that. You'll want to hear some easy fix. Well, sorry, there's not the video for you. However, there are some ways to speed it up. I told my chat earlier. A person who plays his game with no intent of getting better is not is not going to see any results. But a person who plays his game and they're like, okay, I really want to get good. I'm going to learn and I want to watch good players. That guy's going to develop more game sense because he's actively aware of his mistakes and not repeating his mistakes. So, you see what I'm doing right now? Like, I'm not just like, like Siege is a map where you can do anything, bro. You can do anything. But I decide to have a very consistent play style where I put my barbed wire, how I use my utility, where am I aiming? You hear one that block? Am I positioned? Am I? This one right on. So this is a easy kill, fuck. Wait, he's not droning. Dead. I'm gonna immediately back up. I don't have enough position. I don't have enough position to like help him. So you, my boy. One on ping lit. So I'm also taking my gunfights and I, with game sense. I know one on samurai, I'm not able to uh, reload in time. One, and right? you know with the refrag. Yo, Burn toast. Okay. Uh, again, game sense. I know not to repeat that angle because he's going an angle, so I don't want to repeat it. IQ on me. Yeah, that's why you don't want to repeat it. Okay, I'm gonna repeat it because I'm gonna need it. Uh, he's one shot. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. I might as well. I'm coming back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so a lot of big oh, decisions right here. there. Same HP as me. Here's our pre fire and common angles. I know I know immediately to back up. So this is just an educational commentary at this point. So I Alright, with good okay, come back. Come, never mind, that's good. So I was gonna say have him come back and play crossfire because with every man so advantage. The left wall. Main wall. With every man advantage I know like how to play instantly. So it's like game sense is a lot of like muscle memory. I feel like, I don't know if there's a card game for it. I feel like my analogy would be like, if I had a card game, right? And like some guy, like, let's say like we're dueling each other, right? And this guy pulls out a certain card. Oh, like Pokemon, maybe. Let me like Pokemon, like a, the opponent does this. So you know, I immediately pull out this card to counter that or to best put me in that best position. That's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of like an idea of it. Where you'd be like, oh, that's so obvious though. I know, like, I can't make the right decision all the time. It's so obvious. But if it was that easy, then you know, I would be unkillable in this game. But there's intent behind like every, like almost everything I do in this game. Everything I do in this game, there is intent behind it. I'm not just like, you know, not setting up. I'm just like wandering around, you know, just kind of like just fucking free balling it. The next thing you know, it's just like your defense is so like chopped. Another way to test your game sense is your your side setups too. Your setups, your utility, how you use everything. Cause you know where like uh map control is, you know like where's the good parts to gunfights, where's the bad parts. Like, obviously I don't want to take a gunfight like right here, but I understand he has to come in and plant the bomb, right? So I could use the entire map to get better angles. 
So it's, it's little things like that, you know? You always want to, like... So that's why Siege is so good. It's because there's just, like, infinite games end glitch. And you can see it every single day with Pro League, Someone have to watch this. Door still closed. Opening the right wall. Okay, another piece of game sense is that we can't stay here inside the like forever. Like we can't stay here forever. So I know I need to get aggressive here soon and do all that kind of shit. Yeah, right? Bravo John. A bad alibi. I don't know. But at the same time, it's just like I understand. Oh my god! Yeah, he's a uh, opt in the exhibition window. Have a good bait by him. Watch better players, man. Just watch good players and almost copy it. Because good players obviously have good game sense. And game sense really is reflected by their decision making in this game. You know, but if they're playing ranked, you know, sometimes they're going to they're gonna do a little bit weird stuff. But the more you watch, you're, you're going to find common patterns. That's another thing is when you find common patterns in this game, it's because those patterns work. And those patterns yeah. tend to turn into default takes. You might hear the term deep. What's the default take? Default take is really crafted by game sense too. Because at the end of the day, your game just sense is trying to achieve one thing and that's to win the round, right? So there's a lot of different ways you can win around. You can win around by getting a lot of kills. You can win a game round by planting the bomb. You know, running out of time. So if like it's like all those outcomes are the same, right? You the ash already. So however you play this game, as long as you win the round, that's like really the ultimate goal. That's not a BP. Some good game sense tips I would say for defense is just understand how to play the clock, position yourself with the clock, and play after teammates. That's about it. A really, a really bad thing for defense is when people don't understand man advantage and they get super greedy and they just throw their lives away even when they have a solid advantage they throw their lives without even knowing it so you have to be conscious about that like am i in a, the right position and all that kind of stuff if i trust myself i would take this gunfight so he's gonna run out of his balcony right here right so watch this he's gonna try running out oh never mind yes oh he's gonna run out this door i think are you sure they're T? No. What? <laughs> Where are they? T? Are you sure they're T? No. No. Okay. No. Oh, I just had a bad gunfight with her. But at the end of the day, the thing about game sense is that it does take time because you have to experience a lot of different situations. You have to win Wait, a lot of times, and you have to lose a lot of times. Wait, and what HP was he? He was just barely over. It's going to take a lot of time, though. But uh, it can be sped up uh, if you just be like very self-reflective as well. 60 health. About every death. Yeah. I'm going to show his gate. There is not one, but your one drop bottom house. Not one, but two frost mats. You said drop bottom half? Uh, yeah, one did. I killed frost in sight. That frost is actually lost. I didn't destroy one other frost mat. Wait, I didn't destroy any of the frost mats? Uh, ran out of door. One door. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? The Ash Charge didn't destroy any of the Frost Mats? Mirror's the only one in sight. Mirror's in kitchen. Oh, Solas. Solas is the best round dead. That's one in the kitchen. That's one was kitchen last. He's in sight. I might be able to go above it, you know, get the mirrors. He's on the kitchen mirror. Let's just kill it, go for kill. Let's go for kill, are you ready? Go for kill, go for kill, go for kill. Friendly, last 
He didn't go for kill. Why are you not going for kill, bro? Just... Oh my god. Unfortunate. Still in the mirror. Bruh. This guy is so scared. Fifteen seconds remaining. He backed up. Ten He's not in the mirror anymore. Five seconds remaining. Dude. All friendlies have been eliminated. Uh, I don't know, man. I just can't do much about that. Well, you're not much better yourself, baby. Bro, Yana, you're awful, bro. Who are you calling ass? What? He wait. He wait. Did he call me ass in game chat or something? No, no, he's. Typing. Yeah, he's scared to talk. Yeah, yeah, he he's can. just typed it in the chat, bro. Say it's he's my like face, probably like bro. fourteen. He's scared of his voice. Ah, uh, whatever, bro. It's fine. Yeah. GG's guys. <laughs> that guy shit talking me in chat. Oh my god. Well, anyways, hopefully that helped you guys a little bit with your game sense. Obviously, skyscrapers a little bit. It's a little bit more of a chaotic map, but if I was in a five stack, it would be a little bit, you know. If you watch, if you watch me when I five stack, or you watch Bolo, or you watch anybody that five stacks in high ranks, you'll see that like they have a very consistent plan of looking.